Hello YouTube viewers. Today we're taking a close look at the unforgettable cast of the classic British comedy series from the 1960s, The Likely Lads. James Bolam. James Bolam played Terry Collier, the cynical, sarcastic, and rebellious friend who often got into trouble with his schemes and pranks. He was also loyal, witty, and streetwise. Bolam was born in 1935 in Sunderland, England, as one of three children. He studied at B Grammar School and then at the Central School of Speech and Drama. He started his career as a stage actor, appearing in several plays such as Billy Liar, The Caretaker, and The Odd Couple. He made his film debut in 1961 in A Kind of Loving and his television debut in 1962 in Z Cars. He became famous after landing the role of Terry Collier in The Likely Lads. He also appeared in shows such as The Biterbeck Affair, New Tricks, and Grandpa in My Pocket. He also starred in films such as Oh Lucky Man, The End of the Affair, and The Bank Job. He is still active in acting at the age of 85. Sheila Fern Sheila Fern played Audrey Collier, Terry's sister who was married to Arthur Collier, played by Richard Moore. She was also Bob's girlfriend for a while before he met Thelma, played by Bridget Forsyth. She was sensible, supportive, and sometimes sarcastic. Fern was born in 1940 in Leicester, England, as one of two children. She studied at Wigiston Girls Grammar School and then at the Italia Conti Academy of Theatre Arts. She started her career as a stage actor, appearing in several plays such as Salad Days, The Boyfriend, and Boeing Boeing. She made her film debut in 1962 in Some People and her television debut in 1961 in Emergency, War 10. She became famous after landing the role of Audrey Collier in The Likely Lads. She also appeared in shows such as George and Mildred, The Liverbirds, and Hedy Wainthrop Investigates. She retired from acting in 2000 and lives a private life away from the spotlight. She has been married twice and has two children. Rodney Boos Rodney Boos played Bob Ferris, the ambitious, optimistic, and naive friend who often followed Terry's lead but also tried to improve his social status and education. He was also kind, honest, and romantic. Boos was born in 1937 in Bingley, Yorkshire, England, as an only child. He suffered from asthma and spent much of his childhood in hospital. He developed an interest in acting and joined a local theater group. He made his film debut in 1952 in the Pickwick Papers and his television debut in 1956 in Dixon of Doc Green. He became famous after landing the role of Bob Ferris in The Likely Lads. He also appeared in shows such as Doctor Who, Dear Mother, Love Albert, and Heartbeat. He also wrote books such as A Likely Story, A Life on Television, and Whatever Happened to the Likely Lad. He died in 2017 at the age of 79 from heart failure. Don McKillop Don McKillop played Jack, Terry's friend who worked with him at Ellison's Electrical Factory. He was also a regular at their local pub, The Fat Ox. He was friendly, cheerful, and easygoing. McKillop was born in 1929 in Paisley, Scotland, as one of four children. He served in the Royal Air Force during the Korean War and then moved to London to pursue a career in acting. He appeared in several stage productions, such as Look Back in Anger, The Hostage, and Alfie. He made his film debut in 1958 in A Night to Remember and his television debut in 1959 in Armchair Theatre. He became famous after landing the role of Jack in The Likely Lads. He also appeared in shows such as Z Cars, The Sweeney, and Minder. He also starred in films such as The Knack and How to Get It, The Railway Children, and The Elephant Man. He died in 1992 at the age of 63 from a heart attack. Bartlett Mullins Bartlett Mullins played Mr. Clough, the foreman at Ellison's Electrical Factory who supervised Terry and Jack. He was also a friend and a mentor to them. He was stern, wise, and humorous. Mullins was born in 1904 in London, England, as one of six children. He served in the Royal Navy during World War II and then worked as a journalist and a radio announcer. 
He started his career as a stage actor, appearing in several plays such as The Mousetrap, The Winslow Boy, and The Importance of Being Earnest. He made his film debut in 1951 in The Magic Box and his television debut in 1955 in The Adventures of Robin Hood. He became famous after landing the role of Mr. Cloth in The Likely Lads. He also appeared in shows such as Dixon of Doc Green, Steptoe and Son, and Dad's Army. He also starred in films such as A Hard Day's Night, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, and Young Winston. He died in 1992 at the age of 88 from natural causes. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated with more content, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Your likes and subscriptions help us create more content and keep you informed. Now is the perfect time to click that like button and subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next video.